Good afternoon, everyone. Scary global warming story. The melting ice is going to unleash microbes across this planet and wipe out humanity. Although the Namoli figures in Sierra Leone from 17,000 years ago beg to differ. As you can see, it got exceedingly warm, far warmer than today, around 12,500 years ago, and we are still here. And I find it funny that Greenland just set an all-time record for the coldest temperature in the Northern Hemisphere in July. 33 degrees Celsius below zero. Location at the summit. I doubt ice is going to be melting. And the current surface mass blowing away all records from the 1981 to 2010 mean. And also many Ice Age conversations talking about grand solar minimum intensification on our Earth's climate system, as well as another talk with inventor Lee Wheelbarger about agriculture during the grand solar minimum. Both of those are up on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Stitcher Radio. And while you're watching, please remember to subscribe to Adapt 2030. Latest global warming terrifying story, the melting ice is going to release microbes that are going to wipe out humanity. Killer microbes remaining frozen for millennia under the permafrost are going to see the light of day. They're going to wipe us out. Oh, it just might be preserved at old permafrost layers. Something of great interest are these Nomoli figurines found in Sierra Leone, 17,000 years old. Now, when we take a look at the climate graph going back 400,000 years, see the box on the right side of the climate graph? Well, if that was indeed true that microbes would wipe us out when it became warmer, well, the medieval warm period would have wiped us all out. And the artists of these figurines also survived. So this scare tactic story, let's move back to the figurines. You wonder what kind of highly evolved society was it for this type of artwork? This is in Western Africa, Guinea, Sierra Leone, Liberia. They were found while digging a well, and these were at 50 meters. Now, what's interesting, though, is part of the legends that have been passed down talk about the Namoli, where part of the sky where they lived turned to stone, and then it splintered and fell to earth as pieces of rock. Sounds like a giant meteor exploding in the atmosphere passed down. Such stories have been passed down to us about these ice ages, mini ice ages, cometary impacts, volcanic eruptions. But we think we have high technology and we're impervious to a volcanic eruption that'll block out the sun for 10 years. But they're still quite uncertain about the Namoli origins. A lot of conjecture. I'll let you draw your own conclusion on that. But this melting ice story also pegs with the coldest July temperature ever reported in the Northern Hemisphere at negative 33 Celsius, July 6th, Greenland summit. That's right. Greenland is not melting at the moment on the summit as the news would tell you it is. And amazingly, these temperatures have been staying that cold for the last 48 hours. Your quick Google search terms that you're going to look for to run down this article. Greenland meltdown. Not happening. But then it's interesting how scientists grapple with the mysteries of Greenland melting ice sheet. Although they just set an all-time hemispheric cold record for July. That didn't make much news, did it? Didn't see that on CNN, BBC, did you? Anyway, let's come over to DMI. This is the Danish Meteorological Institute. Surface mass budget of Greenland. Blue line at top is current. Look how far above the mean 1981 to 2010 baseline average that is. Blowing away all records ever kept. And then looking at the surface mass... From September 1st until July 6th, far more gains than there are losses. And whatever way you stack up the information, 
whether it be comparisons from the 81 to 2010 baseline compared to today's melt or looking at it in graphic form it is far below average with below average temperatures and record increases in ice and snow on that island this is not supposed to be happening according to the IPCC models. Something else is at play here. The forecast grand solar minimum ushering in a mini ice age with a cosmic ray density, the cloud formation, the albedo effect, more volcanic eruptions, more aerosols, more ash in the air. This all adds up to a cooling planet. We're starting to experience it now. And when the crop yields come in at the end of this year, they're going to be so far under estimates that's going to be all-time record increases in the price of wheat, barley, different types of fruits, and vegetables. And if you know these prices are going to rise, this is a good time to try to plan some trading so you can get some extra available capital when all these prices rise that you will have the means to buy more expensively priced food. You can talk with Bob Kula, Trade Genius. He is exclusively trading off the Grand Solar Minimum. And he will fill you in on where our planet is heading with food production.